Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing about the third problem of today's weekly contest, Maximum Zor Product. The problem is very interesting and we have solved similar problems in the past. The approach always have been solve one bit at a time and then extend it to all the bits. So if you haven't thought in that direction yet, I would encourage you to pause and try to think in that direction before moving forward. So let's get started. The problem states that you are given three integers a, b and n and you have to return the maximum value of a or x multiplied by b or x where x can be anything between 0 and 2 power n. And since the answer can be large, you have to return it modulus 10 to the power 9 plus 7. Right? So let's take an example. Let's say a is 12, b is 5 and n is 4. Notice everything is constant except x. So x is variable and it lies between 0 and 2 power 4 which is in the, which in this case is 2 power 4 which is 16. So you can try out every possible value of x between 0 and 15 and you will see for x equals to 2 you are getting this product as the maximum right. So when you do x equals to 2 a zor 2 will be coming out as 14 b zor 2 will be coming out as 7 14 cross 7 is 98 and hence 98 is the result so hope the problem statement is clear now how to solve this one of the obvious way could be okay try out every possible value of x between 0 and 2 power n and see which one is giving you the maximum result the very good first approach but the value of n is 50 so you can't go all the way from 0 to 2 power 50 it will not work so we have to optimize this now let's bring down the problem to a simpler version first as always instead of saying that x can be anything between 0 and 2 power n we'll say x can be either 2 power n or 0 nothing else right so given this is the problem now how will you solve this if you haven't thought about this problem yet again pause the video try to solve this smaller version by yourself so notice what's happening when you zor something with x so let's say this is a this is b and whatever we route right here will be x so let's say we put this as 1 so in other words n was 3 this is the third bit right 0 1 2 3 so n was uh, 3 so we pick this as 1 so the final result would have this particular bit set right similarly we have to make this bit 1 here as well and the final result would have this particular bit set so this will surely increase the value of a's or x and the value of b's or x simultaneously. So notice previously this bit was not set in a. Similarly this bit was not set in b. Now after zoring both of them will be set. So a's or x is greater than a itself. b's or x is greater than b itself. So the overall multiplication will always be greater no matter what. Right. The difference comes when they are not equal so let's say uh, b this bit is 0 right and now uh, let's say 2 power n is coming to this particular bit right so either you can set this bit or you can keep it like this uh, or in other words uh, you can keep 0 for x so what will you do if you put 1 here what's happening this will become 0 right it means whatever a was there previously that is now has decreased because this particular bit would be unset similarly in this case b would have increased right whatever b would have there would have been there that would have increased right what would happen in other case whether where you put uh, the value of x is 0 so in this case b will not change neither a will change whatever a was there will remain whatever b was there will remain now 
you can see the product will differ in both the scenarios. So which one of the two scenarios is best for you? So what's actually happening? You are whatever, uh, let's say you held one here. So you put, you got zero here and you got one here. So in other words, you will subtract two power n from here and you will add two power one to b. That's what is happening. Like that's what you can do. Otherwise you can, you have the choice to keep a as it is and b as it is, right? So let's see which one will give you the maximum result. So if a is greater than b, notice we had, we have to add same thing to a and subtract same thing from b. So this is what we are currently looking at. So either you can add this to a or you can subtract this to a, right? One of the two things you can do. So if a is greater than b, which one of these two you will choose? Answer is yes. Why? Because a cross b is common minus t square is common and only thing that differ is this a minus b or b minus a. Because a is greater than b, we are sure that this will be greater than zero. It means we will be adding something, right? And in this case, we will be subtracting something because a is greater than b, so this will become negative, right? So in this particular case, this is the best, uh, best answer that we have. Similarly, if a is less than b, you can do the same calculation and you will come at the fact that this is the best possible choice you have. So what's happening here? Notice that we are always subtracting from the larger one and always adding to the smaller one, right? A, B was smaller. Similarly here, A was smaller. So we, we, the final conclusion we got was A is, we added to A and subtracted from B, right? So the obvious thing is you will always try to make A and B as close to each other as possible because that's what will give you the maximum product of A and B. You can do simple differentiation and you will get to that result. Basically, if you want to maximize the value of A cross B, you want A and B to be as close as possible. And to make it as close as possible, you when it, whenever you have an opportunity to subtract and add something to A and B simultaneously, you will always subtract from the larger one and always add to the smaller one so that they get closer to each other, right? So that's the basically the intuition. We, if we have a chance, we will always subtract from the larger and add to the smaller. So in this case, which one of the two operations you will pick? Will you pick uh, this particular case where x is 2 power n and b becomes this and a becomes this or will you keep x as 0 in that case a and b will remain constant whatever that they were previously. The answer is you will pick this piece because which will decrease a and increase b. The reason is if you look at the differences between a and b, a is greater right currently. So if a is greater, we know that we have to subtract, like we have opportunity to subtract something. So we will subtract that from a and add that to b. So in this particular case, we will pick this particular operation where x is 2 power n, not x when x is 0, right? And notice we'll always do that until a and b are always equal. If a and b are equal, we know we don't need to do anything. We can make uh, the unset bit set, right? But if it is already set, you can keep it as it is. But if they are not equal, then it means there is some difference between A and B for sure. Now, whenever you have an opportunity to add or subtract, you will always want to get them as close as possible. So you will simply add to the smaller and subtract from the larger, right? So we know how to solve the problem for a single bit, right? Now, 
the actual pro actual problem was x will not be 2 power n or 0 x can be anything between 0 and 2 power n right so it means you don't have just the power to set this particular bit rather you can set this bit as well if you want you can set this bit as well unset this bit as well as you want if you want you can unset this one set this one like you have all all possible powers you have uh, you can actually apply or with so how to solve that problem the answer is very simple you can simply apply the same trick and extend it to all the bits so for a single bit we know how to solve the problem right for a single bit we know how to take the decision whether that bit will be set in x or not in the same fashion you can take the decision for all other bits one at a time you can then cons after considering after making sure what the value of x here uh, you can take this particular bit and make its decision independently based on whatever you have decided previously right so that's the crux let's look at a, a final example to make things a bit more clear so this is our a this is our b we want to find the value of x right and this is simply a's or x this is b's or x and we want to maximize a's or x multiplied by b's or x right so also um, x is currently between 0 and 2 power n so whatever is the value of n here x is x can be anything between 0 and that right so you can you are free to put anything in these boxes right but if uh, x is not uh, like if let's say x can be only up till this in other words x is only up to 1 2 3 4 5 x is only up to power 6 in that case you will not touch any of these bits you don't you can't touch right that you don't have the possibility so you will just simply keep this as it is and start your operation from here right so that's the only difference but for now let's assume x is all the way up to 2 power 8 so you can change anything you want here right so notice that the first bit let's talk about the first bit first bit is different now if they are different we have a problem we have to figure out should we make it 0 or should we make it 1 because if you make it 0 this will remain 1 this will remain 0 if you make it 1 this will become 0 this will become 1 right so currently both a's or x and b's or x are 0 like this is the final result that you want right this is basically a plus t or a minus t and similarly this is b plus t or b minus t so currently both are equal both are zero so it doesn't matter whether you put one here or zero here you can do anything you want so what you can simply say okay i will put uh, uh, let's say one here right so in that case what will happen this will become zero this will become one right now what uh, let's talk about the second bit second bit has uh, zero here right so in this case as well it is zero because this bit is equal it is no brainer to put one here because you know that if you put one here both of them will increase and if both are increasing the, it's the best thing you can have right so you can simply put one and this will become one as well now next bit is one here uh, next bit is one here and uh, next bit is uh, zero here so again you have to decide uh, two things either you can keep zero here and make it may remain it keep it one or you can put one here and make it zero and this one will become one so how will you decide you will decide based on which one is greater and which one is smaller so uh, clearly this one is greater right because this bit is set this is 2 power 8 or 2 power 7 i think 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 2 power 7 right so if it is 2 power 7 you can you, you are sure that this will be greater for sure so you always want to subtract from greater so you will keep it zero right and because it is zero this will become now one right in the same fashion you can keep on moving forward and decide whether to make it zero or one so in this case always because this will be set once always this will be smaller 
right so you will always set a bit here so when then when you do the next one uh, this is one this is zero uh, sorry this is one this is zero and again you can simply make this one as zero because you know that b or x is greater so you will want to sorry you will want to subtract things from there so you will keep it zero and this will become one similarly next one is this is zero this is one so you will keep it one so that it will become zero and this will be increased now next one is one again the same thing you will keep it zero zero because you want that to uh sorry this will become zero this will become zero so you will become this will be zero and this will be one now finally for this one they are same now if it is same it is no brainer you can keep zero here because if you put zero here both of them will be set and that's the best thing you can have right now finally for the last one uh this is zero and this is zero again there is no brainer you put simply one here so that both of them will become one now this is the final value of a's or x which is 2 power 7 minus 1 or this is the this is the final value of b's or x you can simply multiply them and do modulus mod to get the result right so hope this entire solution makes sense if you have watched this point i would strongly encourage you to pause and try to code this entire thing by yourself because that's the point where you will understand which piece you are facing difficulty with or you haven't understood yet so hope you have at least tried this once so this is the code for this the code is very straightforward uh, we can't uh, we don't have the liberty to set or unset everything we just have that liberty until 2 power n so whatever is there until the nth bit we will simply replicate it in x or a and x or b right after that we have the liberty we can decide whether to set that bit in x or keep it unset because x can be anything between 0 and 2 power n so we check whether both of them have equal values if both of them has equal values we are sure that we can in x or a and x or b we can actually make them set so we'll simply do this if they both don't have the equal values it means one of them is set one of this is one of them is unset so we will simply decide which one to set by looking at x or a and x or b value whichever is greater we will set it in the other one so if x or a is greater we'll set it in x or b if x or b is greater we'll set it in x or a now after doing this x or a and x or b will be something such that if you multiply them you will be getting the best possible multiplication result so you will simply do multiplication and return that as an answer so hope this entire thing makes sense if you have any doubts feel free to post them in the comment section below i would be happy to answer if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one thank you